Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you happen to be on the planet. Uh, my name is Chris Kravitz, and together with the editor-in-chief, Francesco Chicano, and the chief local organizer, Bilal Derbeau, uh, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome you to the 2021 edition of the Genetic and Evolutionary Computation Conference uh, hosted from Lille, France. Uh, the event technically is online, as you can see, and uh, uh, that's a decision we had to made, make uh, in December last year. And uh, we think that, you know, in uh, perspective, that definitely was the right choice. Nevertheless, uh, we would like to emphasize that the uh, event itself is run from Lille and most of that infrastructure that surrounds you and will make your experience hopefully very good uh, is being hosted by our local organizing team from France. And uh, we, to somehow emphasize that, uh, we'd like to I ask Bilal Derbel, the, the head of the, that team, to show up for a moment with the uh, colleagues and uh, wave to you to somehow prove that this is indeed being hosted from Lille. So Bilal, please, the floor is yours. Yeah, so thank you, Chris. Uh, thank you for providing us the opportunity to welcome our Gecko participants. So yes, we are very happy to welcome you uh, this year, so as Chris was mentioning, um, Gecko was scheduled to be physically take physically place in our nice, beautiful city of Lille. Um, we are still happy to welcome you virtually. As you can see, we are um, for us it's not completely virtually. We are here with uh, some of our colleagues. So Arno, our virtualization chair, Nada, our electronic media chair, some other colleagues. Also, Sebastian, and we have also other volunteers in the background. So we are very happy to welcome you all. Uh, we hope that you enjoy the first two days of Gecko and that you will enjoy the next day. So please enjoy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Bilal. Uh, let me just add that the screen behind our local organizers was streaming live, you no know, uh, live actually. Uh, part of Lille, so, so somehow to prove that this is really happening, right? And, uh, you know, so that's, a, of course, a part of our organization. Very importantly, I would like to emphasize that uh, Gecko is run by, this, by SIGIVO, the Special Interest Group on Genetic and Evolutionary Computation, which is part of the Association of, for Computing Machinery, the arguably most respected uh, organization for computer science professionals. We are proud of uh, being part of that brand and uh, we would like to maintain that connection. And I think it serves us, serves us very well, has been serving us very well for quite a long time. Uh, now, uh, this conference would be much harder to run if it wasn't for the generous support of our uh, supporters and sponsors. First of all, commercial sponsors, uh, Cognizant, Google and IMAPA, and a few um, institutional supporters. Uh, first of all, the University of Lille, the Crystal Lab, which is a part of that university, and the Beacon Center for, in the, for the study of evolution in action. And on top of that, also the Springer Publishing House. On behalf of us organizers and also on the entire you know, community, we gratefully thank those, all those supporters and, and um, um, uh, sponsors. Uh, this year, we received 362 submissions of which over 120 have been accepted uh, for oral presentation and a similar number for posters. This translates into roughly 37% acceptance rate, which is similar to what Gecko typically featured in previous editions. Uh, the papers are organized into 13 tracks. One of them is new. Uh, check for yourself uh, which of them is new in the booklet or in the agenda. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday, we had the pleasure to listen to 38 tutorials and 22 workshops, uh, very lively activity also in Gather. And also there were 13 competitions in two sessions, uh, the announcement of the results and the award ceremony for competitions will be happening at the closing of the conference on Wednesday. But arguably the number we are most proud of is the total number of registered participants, which is at the moment 935, uh, an all time record for Gecko. And of course, we as organizers are very proud of that. Uh, and, but on the other hand, we also are very happy to have attracted so many new faces. And we would like to, of course, maintain that connection. Uh, please come next year as well. Um, my role here is, and to a great extent, to make your Gecko experience as smooth as possible. So let me 
now cover a few technical aspects of uh, this whole process. So you should already know from the know before you go email that we received a few days ago or after registration th that we have two main platforms, Whova and Gather. Whova is mainly meant for accessing talks and attending talks either in the embedded video player or uh, using uh, Zoom. Uh, also for browsing the agenda, searching agenda by keywords, authors, tracks, and so on. Uh, and you know, many of the, you know that tool has been used in many, many conferences, and I think it's really uh, very, very good. Uh, our experience so far is very nice. There's also a lot of ways of interacting with other participants, and we can already see a lot of uh, lively interaction happening, new threads being created. Please uh, join us there. Uh, but also uh, for coffee breaks and you know the free time around sessions, please consider uh, coming to gather a game-like environment in which you can create your own avatar and you know stroll around in the lobby, in the virtual lobby that our team created for you, uh, meet other people face to face, chat, uh, gossip, so to say, and have all those uh, funny activities that we typically do when joining conferences. Uh, for us, at least for those two last days, uh, many of you you've, have been doing that already, and I think it worked pretty well. I'm looking forward to even more people joining us in Gather. Uh, if you looked already at the program, then you've noticed that it's much more compressed compared to regular geckos in the past. Uh, there are only three sessions per day. We did that to address you know, the uh, you know, varying uh, expectations of different time zones. Uh, each of those sessions last only 80 minutes, 20 minutes per talk, uh, 16 plus four uh, for discussion. Um, uh, by doing that, we hope that you know the experience will be easier for you when you know sitting in front of a laptop because we kept hearing that you know attending long sessions is really hard uh, in that online setting. And more, most importantly, if you even if you miss a talk, please uh, find out it, about it later on in Hoover. They will be available. The recordings are available in Hoover. But we also decided to give the primacy to live talks. So uh, please, uh, uh, you know, notice that the recordings will be available in Hoover only about half an hour before a given st session starts. All the agenda in, the, in detail is given in the booklet, uh, which is available for you for download uh, from the Gecko webpage, but also in Hoover, where you can conveniently uh, search it using keywords and other uh, in other ways. The advantage of that one in Hoover is that it automatically adapts to your time, time zone. Otherwise, if you see some times given without a time zone, that is the central European summer time, which we here in Europe are on. Uh, all the uh, scientific content uh, uh, that is uh, um, uh, scientific content that is coming now from uh, have been produced within the conference um, uh, is already available for you. Uh, uh, online uh, in the ACM Digital Library. Uh, you can access it actually freely during the conference the, the time um, uh, use, using also the Sigivo website. Um, that's another way. But also uh, as an alternative, we created for you a web server in Malaga uh, where from where you can download all those uh, contributions. Also actually entire proceedings as a single zip file. Um, very important aspect of our uh, schedule is the uh, poster, different the organization of the poster sessions. The poster sessions will be run only in Gather. So if you want to see the posters live, you have to go to Gather. And uh, to again, to address different time zones, we decided to run the poster session twice this afternoon and tomorrow morning. And if it's not only possible, please, we ask the keynote, the, the, the poster speakers to present them twice, to be there twice. Um, we know we know that may be difficult, by, but that would be ideal for the audience, and you know will somehow in, improve or increase your outreach. Technically, please notice that there will be two. Um, uh, there will be two. Um, uh, there will be two uh, the parallel. Um, uh, there will be two parallel rooms in post in, in, in gather because of the technical limitations. We had to actually split the presentation into two. Uh, into two parts, right? Uh, then uh, we have also took care of making your, uh, you know, uh, use of poster session as smooth as possible. Uh, Nada, uh, our electronic media chair, prepared a, a presentation, a video a tutorial that you can play and see um, uh, now uh, uh, the, the, the inter instructions. The, the poster session actually will be happening overnight. So if you join us today in the gather, in gather consider staying there 
as long as you can. And, and uh, we actually won't be closing the poster rooms to the end of the conference. Uh, good. Now, um, um, as uh, the, the next step, let me, of course, not forget that there are many satellite events happening around Gather. There's that CIGIVO summer school that we organized last week. Uh, it has been attended by almost uh, 30 people. Uh, and according to the organizers, Miguel Nicolau and Christine Zargas, it was a successful event, and, I, and we, we think so. Um, and then uh, there will be job market right after this keynote we are looking forward right now. Uh, and then after that job market, we'll be happening in Gather on the coffee break. Uh, there will be HUMIS, uh, the you know, competition for human competitive uh, achievements in evolutionary computation. And in parallel to that, the evolutionary computation practice session, the second session actually of that event. Last but not least, this afternoon we'll be hosting in parallel to the poster session, uh, the Women at Gecko event, uh, which will feature uh, three excellent uh, female researchers as keynote speakers, uh, Isabel Collet, uh, Michelle, uh, Melanie Mitchell, and Valerie Barr. Uh, you should already have received an email uh, from us uh, with the ballot for voting for the best paper awards. Uh, you have just one ballot, uh, so please use it carefully. Although if you change your mind, you can still do that. So once you vote, you can then uh, you know, change your setting, but please do that uh, by the morning on Wednesday, 9 a.m. European time, because that's the moment at which we'll be closing the, uh, the best paper voting service. Um, then a few minor things. Uh, we kindly ask all speakers and chairs to uh, show ahead uh, of time and show up ahead of time because uh, you know coming late to session makes our volunteers and us organizers very nervous. Uh, then, uh, if you are uh, um, an attendee, I would like to ask a question. Uh, please use the session level chat in Hoover, not the subsession level, because the subsession is actually associated in Hoover with individual talks, and we want to have the. A continuous, uh, want to have a continuous uh, chat associated with each session. Uh, we know already that Hoover unfortunately can uh, be a bit uh, slow at moments. Uh, in that case, in such cases, please reload your page or switch to the mobile app, uh, which typically tends to work better. And uh, we also know that uh, already that Chrome, for some reason, Chrome seems to be working. Uh, best uh, or better than other than other uh, browsers. So if you still have some doubts, please consult that email you received from us, uh, visit our conference webpage, or uh, if that still doesn't help, uh, ask us questions in the Ask Organizers Anything section in Hoover, or approach us in, uh, at the help desk in Gather. There will be typically a volunteer or one of us uh, somewhere around uh, listening or ready to answer your questions. Last but not least, please uh, adhere to the ACM policies that you agreed upon uh, when uh, you know registering for the conference. Last thing for me at the opening is uh, related to the fact that, as in previous years, uh, CIGIVO is actually uh, um, uh, granting an award uh, for seminal papers in evolutionary computation, or more technically, the idea is to award papers that have been published at Gecko 10 years ago, and we now consider them somehow important a committee of SIGIVO is deciding upon that every year. This year, two papers have been uh, nominated and awarded, and it's my pleasure and honor to announce the winners, which in this year are the papers by Lehman and Stanley, and the papers by paper by Meresman, Bischl, Troutman, Preuss, Weiss, and Rudolf. Uh, on behalf of the, the entire community, Congratulations to the winners. We are very happy, very happy to see your contributions to be uh, to become so important in our community. Uh, normally, uh, we wouldn't actually announce that at the opening of the uh, conference. Uh, that normally normally happens at the closing, and actually, the closing ceremony will host the uh, awarding uh, session for this particular award. Uh, but uh, this year, we decided also to give the floor to the, the authors of those uh, papers. And invite them to give a talk, actually, to talk and actually present the same paper in the new context. And this will be happening in the last session just behind, before the closing ceremony on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, please uh, feel free and uh, welcome to join that session. That's technically actually all for me, except for the fact that I would definitely like to advertise the three keynote speakers that, uh, first of all, will be joining us in, in a few seconds, uh, or a few minutes. 
Um, but apart from that, uh, we, apart from Joshua Tenenbaum of, of MIT, we have uh, Mark Mazar tomorrow from Ecole Normale Supérieure, and Melanie Mitchell, Santa Fe Institute, as a give up keynote closing. All of these speakers uh, are uh, certain to provide you with very interesting content. So please join us in those sessions. And also uh, be aware that those uh, sessions will be recorded, so you will be able to still listen to those keynotes later on. Now, uh, as it always at the opening of the Gecko, I will now pass the mic to the editors in chief of the befriended journals. Uh, first of them being the Russian Computation Journal and uh, Emma Hart, please, the mic is yours uh, and uh, I will keep your slides. Thanks, Chris. Uh, yeah, so I just want to say a few words about evolutionary computation. It's the oldest journal in our field, established in 1993. Um, I'm the editor in chief, but it wouldn't happen without the um, huge help from a team of associate editors who you can see the names there, who put in a lot of hard work to make sure your papers get handled as timely as we can. Chris, next slide. Thanks. So um, ECJ is, welcomes all types of paper um, that really spans the spectrum of, of what we know as evolutionary computation. So whether you're working on an application um, in theory or an experimental study, um, you're welcome to submit your paper to ECJ. Also a broad uh, array of approaches. So of course, standard evolutionary algorithms, but also swarm algorithms or other nature um, inspired systems. And also very happy to receive papers that are interdisciplinary. Um, there's just two examples on the slides there, machine learning and operations research, but any type of interdisciplinary paper is also welcome. Thanks. Um, so why publish in ECJ? Um, so we, um, as soon as your paper's accepted, um, a version of your paper will appear immediately um, on the ECJ website with a DOI, so it's immediately citable. You can add any kind of supplementary material um, that you wish to that. And we have, uh, for the past three years now, um, an improved submission system that is gradually improving the, the, the turnaround time. So we are running at about a decision time of around 99 um, days at the moment, but, but we're hoping to improve that. So once your paper, um, as well as being immediately available, once a, a copy edited version um, has been produced, that goes into the MIT um, early access section, um, but it's also available for people to view in ACM's digital library and also in IEEE Explore. So your papers are really accessible to um, a large audience. So just some highlights from the, um, the past year. Um, I just want to give a shout out to um, this paper, uh, a systematic literature review of, of, of neat neuroevolution of augmenting topologies um, that was the most highly read paper um, last year. Uh, well worth a view if you're, uh, if you're interested in this area. And a big thank you to our top reviewers for 2021. So from um, the wider community, Christian Grimmer with five reviews and um, from the editorial board, um, Andres Engelbrecht. So thank you very much. Of course, everything revised on reviewing. Could you just go back a slide, Chris? Yeah, and I just wanted to say that MIT Press have um, updated their website and had a big revamp of it this year. Um, so they now have some nice um, additions to obviously just seeing your paper. So you can track shares of your paper on Twitter and through other social media platforms. It gives you citations and you can see some metrics about the number of reads and things they're getting. So these are nice additions um, to, to your data. The next one, thanks. So I wanted to highlight um, a new edition this year. So we've introduced a new section um, as well as regular papers, which is for software articles. So a software article is a short paper that describes a, a piece of EC related software. The idea is to provide a peer reviewed publication platform for this kind of software that is really helping us all um, do the research that we're doing um, in the field. So welcome to Tobias Glasmachers, who is the um, new associate editor who will be handling papers um, to this section. You can find um, all of the details about what constitutes a software article and what you need to provide in terms of code and documentation on the ECJ website. Next slide. And a second thing that I wanted to bring to your attention is that um, we're, we're going to be running a special issue in reproducibility and evolutionary computation. I think it's something that's important to all of us. 
That's um, guest edited by Manuel Lopez Ibanez, Mike Proust, and Luis Paquete. The deadline is on the 30th of November. Um, you can see the URL there with the um, that has the call for papers. I would suggest if you want to find a little bit more about this, you can get in touch with um, Manuel or one of the other associate editors. They're soliciting four types of papers um, to do with reproducibility that you see listed on the right hand side there. So just finally to say, um, I'm always really happy to hear from you if you've got comments about your experience with ECJ or you've got um, any suggestions, you can get in touch with me if you're thinking of a special issue or if you want to uh, discuss a paper submission um, before you submit. Um, you can either uh, email me with the email there or get me on Twitter or get me um, in Gather or on the, the Hover platform uh, during the course of the conference. Thanks. Hi there, I'm Lee Spector. I'm going to say a few words about genetic programming and evolvable machines. So this is a journal published by Springer um, since 2000. So we're not quite as uh, old as uh, um, uh, ECJ, uh, but we are, are now in our third decade. Uh, the focus of genetic programming and evolvable machines is on the evolution of software and hardware. And uh, so the, the thing to think about um, with, with this journal is active components being evolved, like programs and machines. Now, this cuts across many of the tracks and distinctions within the uh, Gecko community, um, uh, because you could be using different techniques to do this. But if your work concerns the evolution of active components of some sort, like programs or machines, please uh, consider well, you should certainly be reading and consider submitting your work to genetic programming and evolvable machines. Um, our impact factor, the last one I have uh, to share with you is uh, 1.781. It's going up year to year. Uh, new number of uh, full text downloads I wanted to share because that is also climbing steadily. And I think that's a very nice number. There's 55,000 uh, full text uh, downloads. Um, a few other features, we also have online first, so your article appears online immediately after copy editing. Um, uh, we have um, open choice, so for uh, open access or, or not is uh, the current system. There's a very nice feature called shared it, which is when you publish an article uh, with genetic programming and evolvable machines, you get a uh, URL that you can do anything uh, you want with, and that will give full text uh, read only access to your article, and you can post that on social media or what have you. Also, a, a nice feature of this journal is book and resource reviews. Uh, Bill Langdon edits this. Those are not behind any kind of paywall, um, and those are short reviews, but very informative um, about what's happening in the field. Next slide, please. Uh, our editorial board, I'm not going to go through in detail, but I just wanted to show you we do have some thematic areas of interest related to what we cover. Um, and uh, many of the top scholars in the field uh, advise us or our associate editors. Next slide, please. Recent special issues, I think you might want to check out. We recently had a 20th anniversary special issue. It was actually a double issue. Lots of very interesting pieces there. Historical, future looking, a lot of exciting stuff. Also integrating numerical optimization methods with genetic programming. And you'll see both in recent and in soon uh, special issues on highlights of genetic programming events. That's something that we aim to do regularly now. Uh, spe specifically want to point out that we have an open call for papers on trust, trustworthiness, and evolvable systems with a deadline of September 1st. Very excited to be featuring that in the journal, and I hope that anybody who has interest in this area will submit to that. Um, also, uh, art, music, and design coming up. Okay, yes, uh, final slide. Uh, thank you. Uh, please do contact me with, with any questions. Um, I'm particularly interested in special issue um, uh, that, that you might like to help steward. And we have a feature that we do from time to time uh, called uh, peer commentaries, where we solicit um, input from the board and their invitees, often on position papers, maybe a controversial position paper. Uh, love to feature that kind of back and forth discussion in the journal where we have many commentaries bundled together um, on a hot issue in the field. So please let me know if you have any interests in that. My contact information is there. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy Gecko.
Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Jürgen Branke and I'm editor of the journal ACM Transactions on Evolutionary Learning and Optimization. Um, at Gecko two years ago, ACM CQEVO announced that they would start their own journal uh, on evolutionary computation to serve the Gecko and the wider evolutionary computation community. Uh, and uh, this journal is set out to be a high quality journal covering all areas of evolutionary computation from theory to application and including related areas such as particle swarm optimization or Bayesian optimization. As the name suggests, the journal particularly welcomes papers on machine learning and the interface of optimization and machine learning where we feel evolutionary computation can really make a significant contribution. After a lot of preparation and the usual time it takes to get the first papers through the review process, I'm very pleased to announce that we have published our first <coughs> issue uh, with the following three issues already in the production process. And I would like to thank the editorial board for all their help in getting this journal up and running. Um, so I would encourage you to visit the ACM TLU homepage and convince yourself of the high quality of the papers. All papers are free to download for a limited time. And what is more, all the papers of the first issue will be presented here at Gecko as part of the hot of the press track. This is a fantastic opportunity to meet the authors and have them present their paper to you. As you can see, the papers cover a range of topics from theory to applications, from standard evolutionary algorithms to genetic improvement and Bayesian optimization. So I believe there's something interesting for everyone. Next slide, please. Now, with my last slide, I would like to encourage you to submit your best work to this new journal. Uh, it is backed by ACM and CIGIVO, aims to be a top quality journal, and I believe the first issue is already a proof of what it can actually achieve. But there are other things that make this journal unique and attractive. For example, our workflow ensures that an associate editor will actually read the paper and write a review before they get to see the other reviews which ensures high quality reviews. We have a double blind review process, removing any unconscious bias reviewers might have. And while the journal is not fully open access yet, it is pretty close. It allows everyone to upload the accepted version of the paper to archive. The authors can use the ACM authorizer to generate a link that they can put on their homepage or institutional repository and that allows everyone to download the original paper from the ACM library for free. Finally, ACM is transitioning to fully open access by 2025. And as such, the journal is among the few that are recognized as fully plan S compliant, which is quite strict open access requirement by many European funding agencies. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, ACM TILO always uh, allows authors to apply for an ACM reproducibility batch when they submit their paper. Our reproducibility board will then check the source code uh, and when it meets the requirements, the uh, accepted paper will be awarded this additional batch that gives, gives trust in your research and the reproducibility of your research. So again, I encourage you to submit your best work to this journal. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact Daryl or myself. Thank you very much and enjoy Gecko. Thank you, Jürgen. And thanks uh, to all the editors in chief. Uh, before I pass the mic to Yuna May O'Reilly of MIT, who will be introducing our first keynote speaker, let me remind you that uh, if you'd like to ask a question during this keynote, then please use the uh, right uh, chat in Zhuva, or more specifically the chat associated with the keynote rather than the chat associated with the welcome ceremony. So once you go in Hoover to this location, you click on uh, this panel, you will get the chat here and you should be posing your question here, or of course, wait until the end of the keynote and ask questions orally. Thank you very much. And now the floor is yours, Yuna May. Thank you, Jürgen. Uh, 